Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel on TV. We're going to talk about the Man City game tomorrow night, preview that, but of course we have to start with the big news from this morning that a fee has been agreed with Chelsea for Lewis Hall and he will be in Newcastle today for his medical. £28 million plus £7 million in add-ons for the young left-back. But the deal is initially a loan, very creative and very smart, by Dan Ashraf in Newcastle United. Eddie Howe said we would have to get creative with the last transfer window. And he has said that this is the last transfer in this window for Newcastle United. Eddie Howe has said we will not be making any more signings unless there is an injury or something like that to the current squad. Now, I probably believe that would be fair. Said he wanted one more. Eddie Howe said, you know, this will be the last one. Although, you never know. In the last window, if an opportunity comes up, if there is an injury, if they can get maybe a centre-back on loan, like a similar deal to this, or a right-winger, I don't know. I don't know. But for now, Eddie Howe is saying that Lewis Hall will be completing this transfer window. Obviously, Tonali, Barnes, Liberamento, and now Lewis Hall. Yankuba Minef, who's went out on loan, he won't be playing first team this season. But Lewis Hall will. And he is coming in. And like I said, it's a very, very shrewd deal for Newcastle, this one. To get around FFP... We have initially got Lewis Hall on loan, but it is an obligation to buy. So even if he plays absolutely crap and he only plays two games, we've still got to sign him. We've still got to pay that big money up front. You know, 28 million plus 7 million and that on is depending on performance related bonuses and stuff. So aye, Lewis Hall, 18 year old left back. He is on his way to the tune for a medical today. And I'm going to get this video done quickly because I am then going to head to the training ground and we're going to try and catch Lewis Hall as well. So looking forward to that. So... What a saying this is. You know what I mean? Chelsea desperately wanting to keep Lewis Hall. They offered him a six-year deal just a couple of weeks ago. Lewis Hall didn't sign it. Once first team football and he wants to come home. He is a Geordie. He is a Newcastle United fan. His dad is a Geordie. So he's been watching Newcastle, supporting Newcastle. But he has been at Chelsea since he was seven. Won Chelsea Academy Player of the Year 2022 to 2023. And he is obviously very highly rated. I remember watching him against Man City last year. He was fantastic. You know, he getting up that left-hand side, his delivery, he's crossing. Eddie Howe was asked about him in this morning's press conference. He said, you know, he's a big fan of him, he's versatile, he's very energetic with bags of potential. And that is what Newcastle United are buying here. They are buying that potential. And also, he's shown he can slot in and do well already in the Premier League. Not many appearances, but um, when he has played, he's looked fantastic. And obviously, we need strengthening on that left-hand side. I think that's an hour allows Dan Byrne to be centre-back cover and... What not? And then you've got Livermento coming in as well. So Newcastle United have potentially signed the next right back and left back for England. You know what I mean? This, these are players in Tino Livermento and, and Lewis Hall that are eyed up to be the future fullbacks of the national side. So it's huge, huge signings for Newcastle this summer. You know, yes, the, the potential is there and the risk is there because of the age and the sample size is small in terms of appearances, but they have got bundles of talent, massive ability. And they the, are the modern day fullbacks, you know, pacey, get up and down, technical, and Hall as well in those games that he did play was was very good at his, his you know his, his positional awareness, his tackling, his decision making. So it's unbelievable. It really is, you know, bringing in an 18-year-old left back from Chelsea. Now we're taking players from Chelsea. Do you know what I mean? All the Chelsea fans are good that they're losing him. And we should be buzzing because we have got a real talent on our hands. So Lewis Hall, loan with an obligation to buy 28 plus 7 million. And uh, his, his medical will be happening later that day. We're going to head over to the training ground and try and catch a glimpse of him. But what a big signing that is for the two. Let me know your thoughts on Lewis Hall in the comments below. Now then, let's talk about the main event of this weekend. Saturday night, 8pm, Manchester City v Newcastle United. This is what the whole world will be watching, you know what I mean? This is why all the eyes will be on the two best teams in the league. Title decider. Do you know what I mean? Joked about that with Alan Shearer. If you haven't seen the Shearer interview, what are you playing at? Go and watch it. It's on the Magpie channel. And uh, yeah, you know, this is a massive game and it's going to be a really interesting one to see just how good Newcastle are and can they actually get remotely close to Man City. I see ex-Man City player and Newcastle player Stuart Pierce saying that Newcastle will win the league this season. He's tipping Newcastle to win the league this season. You know, a lot of people have had eyebrows raised after that 5-1 win last week over Villa, who were meant to be pushing us for the top four, and we absolutely destroyed them. Can we go to the Etihad and give a good account of ourselves? Well, I, I truly believe we will. I really do, and I'm going. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. I've been at the Etihad down the years when we got beat 6-1. Mitrovic was the only goal for Newcastle. Newcastle have never, ever won at the Etihad in the Premier League. How mental is that? 2003, 
20 years now we've never won there in the Premier League. We won there in the League Cup with Andrew Aaron's and that. Jesus, what happened to him? Um, and, you know, we've never managed to get a result there, a win there in the Premier League, which is bonkers. But it's not really because of Man City Spain and how good of a save they are on Pep Guardiola. But I, we haven't even scored a goal there since 2018. John Yuri Yedlin, the last person to score for Newcastle at the Etihad. So I'm going there full of confidence, though. For the first time in my life, I actually think we can get a result. And I actually think we will. Honestly, I do. I think we're going to turn up there. We're going to give them a real good game. Obviously, De Bruyne is out for Man City. Uh, Diaz is a doubt. You know, so there's a big chance for Newcastle. And considering Man City have just played in the Super Cup over in Athens, which they won on penalties against Sevilla. They should be tired. You know, they played that game in the heat. Pep Guardiola is whinging that they've had to come back and they play on the Saturday night. He thinks they should have been playing Monday. Um, I think they've got back there Thursday or yesterday. They've only got a day and a bit until the game. You know, so I can't understand it. It is a bit harsh, but I'm all for it. Thank you very much, Premier League. Thankfully, for once, you've done something to help Newcastle United. So that's got to play its part. You know, then playing the Super Cup the other night, going to penalties. Obviously, there's no extra time, but playing that game... The first game back against Burnley, they were clinical, and that's the thing with Man City. They don't really have to play that well. They don't have to give it their all. They've got Edison and goal. They've got Holland up front. They've got Ford and Grealish, everyone else. One minute moment of magic in it. Like, Colin will barely touch the ball, shoot, score, and then before you know it, you're 1-0 down, you're 2-0 down, you know what I mean? So it's it's obviously not going to be easy, but I really fancy our chances. I do. I think if we can play like we did last week, we have a real, real opportunity to go there. You know, I was going to say cause an upset because obviously people will always still have Manchester City as favourites at home against everyone in the world. He taught in Real Madrid as well. You know, so it's it's obviously oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves because of how good last weekend was. We're going to be asking obviously Tonali to do the same. He's had to do the same. Um, so you know, it is it is a lot. It is a big ask. But for me, I'm very confident. I really am. I think we're going to go there, and we're going to be the better side, and hopefully. We can take our chances on the day because that's the thing. You've still got to take your chances. And you've still got to stop the Terminator up front, you know, hauling for them and, and everything else. But I'm going to go for a big, for a bold 2-1 Newcastle United win. I am. 2-1 to the tune. I'm going to say Ezek's going to run the show again. I think uh, Gordon might score as well. And I, I'm back in I'm back in the tune. I'm going. I'm buzzing for it. So make sure you tune in to the Magpie channel tomorrow. We'll have loads of videos. We'll have the vlog. We'll have everything else coming from the Etihad and hopefully what a time it'll be if we, if we do manage to get a result and, and get it obviously yeah, even a 2-2 or something you know I'd be buzzing with that with a draw would be great just to go there and not see we get battered every time I've went there I've been there a few times we have been absolutely humiliated <laughs> I wasn't there last season it was only 2-0 and even last season when we did get beat 2-0 you know Joe Linton on that missed chances so Wilson had a stinker so hopefully tomorrow we can get a result even a draw and people will be like, again, they'll be like, wow. Because listen, this start we've had is so tricky with your Villas, City this week, Liverpool next week, Brighton after that. Let's see how we get on, eh? Competing with the, the teams at the top. So let's go. I'm buzzing for it. Drop your predictions below what you think the Man City score will be. Subscribe to that by Channel TV. I'll see you in the next one. Training ground. Let's go.